Dearly beloved, we've gathered together today in the presence of God to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. There are no obligations on earth more important than those you're about to make. There are no vows more solemn than those you're about to speak. There is no human institution more sacred than marriage. It's the holiest of all earthly relationships based on a deep, inseparable union of two souls beginning a new life as well. Aaron and Brian, you've known each other for the better part of four years. And after a swipe, a cheesy pickup line, a side hug, and a high five, <laughs> your relationship started to grow into something beautiful and special. When I was uh, thinking of what to say tonight, uh, a lot of things went through my head of what's made our relationship over the years. Um, first day we met at the YMCA, which was about 23 years ago. Yes, we're that old, Aaron. Um, all the trips we've taken over the years, the sporting events where we cheered and yelled at some and yelled and cussed at others. Um, and, but I think what I got down to was that I just want to take this opportunity publicly and thank you for being such a great friend. We both know that I've been through some trials and tribulations over the years and you're always there for me. And I know now that I, myself or our kids and my wife, we could call you anytime, day or night, and you'd be there for me. So I just want to take that opportunity to, to thank you personally. Um, and now I want to say how happy I am for you that you have a new partner in crime. Somebody that shares your love for football, for animals, <laughs> and can match your sarcasm. <laughs> so to both of you, I say cheers. We met Aaron. Oh. About three, I think about three and a half years ago. And even in then, it was apparent to us how vivacious and full of life she is and how good she is for Brian. And uh, all I want to express to them is that we hope that they uh, continue to have a life of laughter, happiness, and joy, and love. This ring I give, a symbol of my love, faithfulness to you. With this ring I give, a symbol of my love and faithfulness to you. Brian, welcome. A little bit of a nut house, although you knew that when you married her with four, 14 animals to go with it. And after that, you stole her dog after all of that, too. Right? It's like. <laughs> Day of matrimony, having vowed your love for each other and have exchanged rings as a token of those vows, I am honored and privileged to pronounce you husband and wife in what God has joined together. May no one ever separate. Kiss your bride.
Aaron and Brian are proof that it's not what you have, it's who you have. And I couldn't be happier for them today. There is no one else I would be so willing to share my Aaron Patricia with. Brian, I knew as soon as I met you that you would be the one to give my girl the life she's always dreamed of. He stepped right in and rolled with the punches and kept up with Aaron. The range of emotions that this girl goes through on a daily basis are enough to challenge anyone. But she also loves and cares equally as deeply and wears her heart on her sleeve. Anyway, Brian, you are proof that good things come to those who wait. As you already know, I'm always Team PB. <laughs> you have my word that I'll be there for both of you through good times and bad. I promise to remind Erin why she picked you, and on the rare occasion, I'll call her out when she's acting slightly ridiculous. And Erin, I promise to help Brian pick out every present for you whenever he comes to me. <laughs> As a wise person told my husband Scott and I on our wedding day, all you need is love. Always remember that. I might also add horses to that list, and maybe wine too. <laughs> but just remember, there's only now, there's only here. Give in to love or live in fear. No other path, no other way, no day but today. It's with great honor that I ask everyone to raise their glasses to Aaron and Brian.